I learned that life is just making decisions and hoping you live with them, yeah. talk about the juice cleanse that I decided to go on in the last week of December. So I'm going to be talking about my experience, how many days I decided to juice for, why I decided to go on a cleanse, the type of juice I used, how much money I spent, and things I will do next time, as well as sharing the recipes and me using my juicer towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. So, I decided to go on a juice cleanse because my face was breaking out like crazy. I deal with acne and some scarring issues, but overall, like, my face was just breaking out so much. And I know that depending on where my face breaks out, that's just due to me. That's just a sign from my body saying, okay, this is not functioning properly. So, because I was breaking out along my jawline and along my cheekbones, that was just telling me, like, oh, well, your digestive system is not properly breaking down your food. You need to go on a cleanse. I was super sluggish from overeating. Um, I was bloated. And I also, I've been on cleanses before, but they didn't last more than a day. So I wanted to challenge myself with this three day juice cleanse. The first day was the hardest for me. I was a bit unorganized. I woke up, I had no juice to drink. <laughs> so I had to go outside, get some groceries, and I also had a lot of errands to run. So by the time I had drunk my first juice, which was around probably two, three o'clock, I was already tired. I was super sluggish and my energy was really, really, really low. But by the time I had my, my juice, I did feel much better. I made sure that I stayed hydrated throughout the day. Day two and day three were a lot better for me. I was way more organized. I had a little burst of energy here and there. Um, and I would say I did use the bathroom a lot. So I do suggest that if you are going to go on a juice cleanse that you make sure you're near a bathroom because you're either gonna have to pee or poop so i will also say by the time my juice cleanse en ended i was not bloated at all like i was kind of skinny <laughs> and then i will also say that um any bumps that i had on my face they were gone probably had like two or three bumps but other than that my skin was pretty clear of any new bumps um, i also felt more energized i felt light and i felt empty not in a sense of empty like i didn't eat but empty in a sense of like i didn't feel so much weight down from eating so much like cooked foods throughout my juice cleanse i drank anywhere from two to three 16 ounces of juice and then i also made sure that i drank three to four bottles of spring water. Um, now we're gonna talk about the type of juicer that I use. So in the past, I've used those big, big bulky juicers. I personally don't like them because for one, they heat up your juice in the process, so you're losing nutrients. Two, there's, there was always a lot of waste for me. By the time I was done juicing, there, like I felt like 50% of my ingredients were in the pulp and I, I didn't like that so I've had my eyes on this Namco press juicer for a while so this is what I was I've been using it comes in this big box and what I like so much about this juicer is that the juices last for up to three days um, I paid $320 for this juicer do I think that's expensive no that's actually a great investment for me because I'm gonna be juicing a lot, but then I'm also gonna make juices for other people. So, but I spent anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five dollars on ingredients for juices for that day. Another thing to take into consideration when when it comes to determining how much money you're gonna spend on juice is the type of fruits and vegetables you're buying are you buying fruits and vegetables that are going to give you high yields and low yields and what that means is how much juice you're going to get from one fruit so that's something to take into consideration when juicing and you want to determine how much money you're going to be spending when it came to breaking my juice fast i had a salad with quinoa lettuce chickpeas, roasted squash, and 
a red pepper and tahini dressing. It was delicious. I think the roasted butternut squash and the chickpeas might have been a little bit too heavy for me. So I'm just gonna, so next time, I'm gonna make sure that maybe I start with some sort of soup, maybe like a mashed up avocado or just something super, super light and strictly raw foods for like the first few days. Friends, instead of drinking anywhere from two to three juices, I'm gonna make sure that I'm drinking somewhere between five to six juices. I personally don't think I drunk enough juices during my juice cleanse. So next time I juice, I'm just gonna take into consideration the things that I have to do within that week. If I have too many things to do, then I'm not gonna do a juice cleanse, but I know if I know it's gonna be a calm week for me, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work at home, then I'll, I'll, I'll go on a juice cleanse so I'm not using too much of my energy. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm a lot more organized. As soon as I wake up, boom, I got a juice in the fridge. I don't wanna have to go get any food. I gotta make a juice to drink in the morning. At least when I have my juices made, so when I wake up, I have a juice to drink, and then I can run my errands to give me my energy to start my day. So if you've ever been on a juice cleanse before and want to share your experience, comment down below. If you have any recipes you think I should try. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video and have a great day. Three ain't been like the hideout. Lil' baby, pull up the find out. Try this gel, I'll blow your mind out. I got that seasoning, I see you cooking up. That shit is dried up. I need abundance that's deeper than money. I've been through the wire. That shit hard to stomach. I've been getting high. The stars see me coming. Uh, yeah. See me, girl. I know they see me, girl. I know they see me, girl. Oh.